Teen I used to tell him. But real cool. Um, I just wanted to give something about, I was thinking about war, right? And really, we not, the, I think the reason that, I, I want to say this too about, uh, I was talking about Nelson Mandela in the war. The reason that I think he had to redevelop a strategy, you know what I mean? A different strategy to get rid of evil. You know, because it was it's more than just um one saying like apartheid. No, but it's it's like a, it's not that he had to develop a different strategy to 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 get rid of a bad order for a good order. And the thing is that the people are not ready for any type of you know, it's not that see cause a war really all war is is defense. It's not an offensive, really. Not for not for the true not for the true Rastafari or the so-called the real true Christian. War is not an offensive. It's a defense. Because when one is born again fully, their morality is so high to where they wouldn't commit any offenses or sins or or. They wouldn't do anything that would cause them to go and offend someone. That's that's because that's not in the in the uh, it's not in the way. You know, it's not the it's not in the spirit of a Rastafari to go and commit offenses. The the spirit of Rastafari is is healing, right? Is is taking care, is growing. Is is plowing, is plowing, right? It's is multiplying in goodness and righteousness. You know, it's like making sure ones have clean running water. If Rastafari own the uh, the your water company wherever you gonna be at, you better believe you gonna have cleaner water come next year. Two, you know, two years. That's the whole point. It's to make living standards better. You would have um solar panels on your house and it'd be cheap it wouldn't be something that's gonna break you you know if i'm just giving an example of the truth but the people always talk about um the war thing and really ones are not ready for no war like that a lot of them are not ready for a war like that right even though it's already on it's already going but but a lot of those people, the so-called Christians, they're not really ready for nothing like that because um, they're not grounded in a lot of truth. They still believe in a lot of false and phony things. So they're not really ready or prepared for a war, a real war on a large scale. And that's what really I and I want to say. But that's not, you know, that's not something that we have to worry about. But as far as our rights, we must have our rights. We must have our fundamental rights. And we must always, we always fighting about that. It's just that others choose not to be a part of the battle. But whenever it comes rolling around to them, it'll be their own problem. But we stick together. We come together and, and, and we do what we what is in the will and the obedience of His Imperial Majesty, get a Maui Haile Selassie. Very cool. Amen. Amen. Shalom. Shalom.